Pancreatitis is a common cause of severe abdominal pain, severe enough to send people to the emergency room. Let's discuss its typical symptoms, what it is, and how it's diagnosed. Pancreatitis is characterized by severe abdominal pain, but more specifically, severe abdominal pain in the upper center of the abdomen that seems to pierce through a person, searing into the center of their back. And that abdominal pain reaches new heights when a person eats, and it's accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and bloating. These symptoms are the result of the pancreas becoming inflamed because the pancreatic enzymes are released inside the pancreas. Now, normally the pancreatic enzymes are meant to digest your food and they're released in a controlled fashion and they're inert until they reach the small intestine where they intermix with food and they activate to just digest your food. But when they get released early and they activate early, they start digesting the first thing they find, which inside of your pancreas is you. What follows is essentially a chemical burn and your immune system responds to that injury by provoking a cascade of inflammation. Digestive enzymes that were meant to digest a fatty steak are instead digesting your fat. Broken down fats mix with electrolytes and form a chalky, soapy substance. And that sequesters the electrolytes that were meant to regulate your blood flow and help to control your immune system. All of this inflammation causes injury to the blood vessels that feed the pancreas, which results in further tissue injury. The severity of pancreatitis depends on the extent of damage. If the inflammation is restricted to the space between the pancreas cells, this is termed interstitial pancreatitis. And this is usually pretty well tolerated with supportive care. When the inflammation becomes severe enough that there's injury to the blood vessels, then a second problem occurs. There is death of the pancreatic tissue. And now two problems follow. One, as the tissue breaks down, bacteria can invade inside of the pancreas. And secondly, because the blood flow has been compromised, the immune system cannot reach it. In effect, the walls have been breached and the supply lines have been cut. And this can lead to necrotizing pancreatitis and sepsis and death. To diagnose pancreatitis, several factors are considered. And foremost is the patient's history. It's crucial that they have the very distinct pain of pancreatitis. This pain is usually different for the patient who has reflux, who's experienced pain higher up in the chest. It can overlap with the pain of an ulcer, and it can also overlap with the pain of a gallbladder attack especially because it can be a gallstone that is lodged in the bile ducts that has provoked pancreatitis. And for this reason, labs are very important to distinguish these pains from pancreatitis. Lipase is an enzyme that's made by the pancreas and helps to break down fat. And it's pretty exclusively made by the pancreas, although not solely, and it should usually be very low within the blood. And so when it's very elevated, that is a sign that there's a lot of inflammation inside the pancreas and it is leaking out a lot of lipase into the blood. Basic blood work such as a complete metabolic panel and a complete blood count are helpful to separate pancreatitis pain from other causes and to grade the severity of pancreatitis. A patient may have elevated liver enzymes because the bile ducts are blocked by the inflammation of the pancreas or by a stone that is lodged in the bile ducts that might have been the original cause. Kidney function is critical to determine the severity of the disease and to gauge how much fluids a patient is going to need. Their white blood cell count is likely highly elevated because as we said, this is a very inflammatory condition. And a patient's white blood cell count can be very high, which is often a sign of sepsis. But in the case of pancreatitis, it is simply sterile inflammation. It is inflammation in the absence of a bacterial or other infection. However, it's not uncommon that a patient looks like they're septic, their heart is racing, they look very ill, and for that reason, antibiotics are often started in the emergency room. And that's an appropriate consideration, but one that must be made with blood cultures as a guide to see if they result negative and the patient rapidly improves in the setting of what looks like typical pancreatitis, and there was probably no infection, and we should not leave that patient on antibiotics too long. Imaging is the third key factor to diagnose pancreatitis, but I list it last because it may not even be needed. It is sufficient to diagnose pancreatitis when someone has typical pain and highly elevated lipase. Pancreatitis will be seen on a CT as the pancreas lighting up with inflammation. And this can give a third characteristic typical sign of pancreatitis when the other markers were atypical. But when it's already clinically obvious that a patient has pancreatitis, it is much more helpful to not be distracted by the pancreas, but instead direct our attention on imaging to the gallbladder. And that's because if we find that the gallbladder is chock full of stones and that there's one of these lodged inside the bile ducts, which has expanded under pressure, then this is a sure sign that the patient has gallstone pancreatitis. Absent that, we would have to look to other causes. 
and we'll get to discussion of those in a different video. But if we do need to get a CAT scan, it can be helpful to not only see the characteristic pancreatitis, but some of the early complications. We might see that the patient has necrotizing pancreatitis. But again, this is not typical. Most cases are interstitial pancreatitis, thankfully. We might also see some early complications of cysts. And these are factors that we're gonna talk about in a future video. I hope that you found this introduction to pancreatitis, what it is and how it's diagnosed, a helpful lesson in this common cause of severe abdominal pain. Thank you for watching and be safe.